In this verse video, we'll take a look at how to take an STL file and recreate it in SpaceClaim. Now, if I go to the Display tab, there's a small box where I click and I can display all the mesh. You'll notice this is a fairly clean mesh. There's not too many triangles, but it's fairly smooth, and this might be a better candidate for using the automated tools, uh, the, the curve generating tools in SpaceClaim uh, to recreate this. As a rule of, th of thumb, the more simplified, the less noisy your model is, the better the candidate it is for using the curve fitting tools. Now I've just selected two axes down the middle and I'll insert a reference plane. I always like to work with reference planes. It helps me establish a frame of reference uh, for which uh, I'll put curves on. Let's go into a sketch mode. When I'm in a sketch mode, I have the option over here on the left hand side by the selection options to fit curves and you'll see some green and blue edges or curves that start to appear. SpaceClaim is trying to form lines and curves. The auto merge option will turn those into splines or attempt to merge some of them together. Now that's what I'll use because I want to generate a, a nice long curve along the bottom. Uh, you notice the tolerance button or the slider here if you drag this up or down accordingly you'll get a series of curves that will fit the try to fit the mess, the STL a little bit closer or more loosely. Let me demonstrate that. It's set to 10 right now, which is right in the middle. If I drag this to closer to 1, it's trying to fit that mesh much closer. 20, it's obviously a much looser fit. So I'm just going to leave that at 10 for now. Zoom out and do a box select around the curve in the bottom. And do a copy and paste. So that will generate a curve that I'll use in a moment to put some reference planes on. Now I'll hide that curve or hide the mesh for a moment and go into a 3D mode. And this is a great trick. Once you in, once you click the uh, reference plane, Space Claims prompting you uh, to put a reference plane. If I click the end point or over the, over the end point of that spline, it will attempt to put one right there, and it's actually normal uh, to the very end of that spline. Now let's make a series of planes. Going into the move tool. I select sweep and create patterns. My sweep is going to be along this curve. I drag this down not too far. I'm not trying to recreate the whole thing. You know, maybe somewhere close to the middle. And we'll say eight reference planes. You hit eight and enter, and eight planes are equally spaced out. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to leave it at that and start to recreate this. The trick is uh, the more cross sections you have, obviously the more work it'll take, but the more accurate your model will be. I'll click on one cross section and go into sketch mode. Now what you may want to do for now is take this auto merge option off. On some of these it may cause a problem. Uh, they may look okay right now, uh, but doing a box select will select all those temporary curves that space claim thinks it can generate. Now those are just temporary curves, that's just a, a visualization. What you need to do is select those and do a simple copy and paste and you have a bunch of curves actually generated in your tree. Next button I want to select is sketch new, select new sketch plane. I click that and go on to the second sketch plane. Now here's a perfect example where you want to turn off that uh, auto merge option. It's trying to turn that into a series of splines, but it's really better suited to be a line at the bottom. Now we'll take care of this in a moment, the fact that this is all lines and uh, arcs, and I really need it to be a series of lines and probably splines. So we'll do that in just a moment, but this is really just a plug and chug operation. Copy paste, select new plane, and you select the plane. So it's really four button clicks and then a, a box select. Now I may end up adding a couple more reference planes in here towards the end because in the next video I'll show you how to cap this off and uh, create the very end of this which can be a little bit tricky. Alright so we'll do one more. Okay that looks about good. We'll go back into a 3D mode. I'll actually, you know, let's go back into a cross section and instead of selecting a new plane I'll just move this one a little bit further forward. Zoom in and do the same thing. Do a copy and paste and move it a little bit closer to the end. 
because I'm getting closer to the end, this is where I may want a few more cross sections. That's why it's exactly why I'm doing that. Okay, now I'll exit out of 3D mode. My screen looks a little bit cluttered. I've got a lot of planes, a lot of surfaces. We'll start hiding some things and try to make sense of this. So I've hidden the mesh. We'll go ahead and hide uh, the plane and the pattern of planes that I also made. Some of those curves didn't actually convert into uh, surfaces. That's okay. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why, so not a problem. You just need to use the fill tool after selecting the curves. And it's a closed loop of curves, and it'll turn those into uh, surface bodies right away. Now, the problem with trying to join all these together with the pull tool, watch what happens. It, this may or may not be what you want, but it's very noisy data. That's because all those cross sections were made up of small, small line segments. If I exit out of this and click in white space, Look what happens when I hover over an edge. It's broken up into small, small segments. So this is a, a great idea, a great place to start using the uh, curve simplifying tools in Space Claim. And let's just delete that long curve running down the middle. And for that matter, all the curves in the model, I can go ahead and delete them. What I'm going to do next is attempt to get all the curves back, simplify them, and generate brand new surfaces. Now, in order to do that, I need to, to get curves on the screen. I want to take off my selection filter. It's this white arrow down here. I want to take off Smart and deselect Faces and Points because it's just edges that I want to select at this point. Good. I have all the edges selected, 191 of them. That's quite a few. If I do a copy and paste, those are all generated as curves at the bottom. So that means these surfaces in the tree that I just worked so hard to create, I can go ahead and delete those without problem because the all, all the data is still right there and it's sort of stored in the in the form of those curves if you will now the bottom of the curves I want to keep those as lines so what I want to do is hide them for a moment because everything else is what I want to work on notice how I'm putting my view in a in a perspective where it's very easy for me to select the bulk of those horizontal lines in fact what you could do is select a Y and a Z axis and say plan view now that's given me it's not quite where I want, so that's okay. It's pretty darn close. I'll go ahead and select a bunch of those, right-click and say hide, and there's really only one that I missed. I'll right-click on that and say hide. Now let's make sure I don't have any more curved or straight segments in here. It looks good to me. And you can see some of these uh, segments are not all that smooth, so that's what we're going to do here. They're just made up of small arcs and lines. And this is really the fun part of uh, fast simplification. Do a box select, get all those curves, and under the repair tab there's a button called fit curves. Now what I'm looking for is there's a few options here. I want to deselect lines and I just want splines selected. The trick now is to move this slider bar, which represents the maximum distance between points, move this slider bar so up or down so that you have only endpoints. Notice if I move to the left, the points are closer, and I don't want those. I want to move just far enough to the right so I really don't have any more left. And you'll find out it's somewhere around 20 thousandths or so, 20 thousandths of an inch where Space Claim is able to simplify all the curves and not have any points in the middle. So there's the nice preview you're looking at. A green checkbox will solidify it. Let's bring back all the curves, which is really just everything I've showing, plus the horizontal segments. The fast way to do that is to click on that checkbox to hide everything, click it again, and it brings everything back. Okay? So, last step to do, or second to last step, would be to grab all the curves, fill them in, and left with the surface bodies. These are going to be clean surface bodies at this point. That means the curves I can delete. I don't need them anymore. They serve their purpose. Now I use that pull tool and watch what happens. When you hold down the control key and start selecting the surfaces, you're left with the profile, or I'm sorry, a, a preview of a very smoothed out board. And there's your solid. So we'll pick it up in the next video and show you how to do uh, the very end of this. Thanks for watching.